The Gargoyle Hunters by John Freeman Gill is set in 1974 in New York City where 13-year-old Griffin is trying to navigate between his recently divorced parents. Griffin's mother takes on all sorts of unusual and down-on-their-luck men in their brownstone apartment, while Griffin's dad goes so deep into architectural preservation that he enlists Griffin's help in rescuing, stealing, gargoyles, frescoes, and similar features from the top of old skyscrapers that are scheduled to be torn down. This is a coming-of-age story set in a much grittier and more dangerous New York City than the tourist-friendly Big Apple that we know today. Griff tries to make out with an older high school girl, has his bike stolen when he only locks the front tire to the bike rack, and gets revenge on some bratty older boys by setting a flood inside their ritzy high-rise. The story is told by Griff as an adult, looking back on his coming-of-age years, so some of the tales are more interesting in their remembrance such as boys hawking loogies onto a wall to see whose will drip down the farthest, or getting a tongue stuck to the frozen interior of the Statue of Liberty. In places, this nostalgia feels very similar to Gene Shepard's novel In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash, which you will probably know as the movie A Christmas Story, but rather than Christmas in Cleveland, this nostalgia is about balancing on the ledges of high-rises to liberate gargoyles for the sake of history. The story has its quirks, but it is a memorable tale full of adventure and intimate details that only someone who truly is in love with their city could write. It's The Gargoyle Hunters by John Freeman Gill.